Hi everyone, this is a video to introduce you to the library services and resources available to those of you taking English 100 with Professor Torres Guimarães. I'm a librarian at Cerritos College and I want to help you to find the resources you need for your project. Let's go to the college homepage, click on quick links, library and chat, and this is our brand new library homepage. If you get stuck on anything related to your research project, make sure that you click on chat with the librarian. You ask us a question, maybe you don't know how to navigate the research databases, you need help looking for a book. Ask us a question, click start chat, and this service is available during all hours that the library is open. Talking about research databases, it may be a new concept to you, so let's go ahead and click on this tab. This is giving you instructions on how to log into the database. Uh, you're going to need to use your student number and your date of birth for those of you trying to log in if you are off campus. If I click on databases A through Z, it's, this is going to give me a list of all the databases that the library subscribes to. And it can be a little overwhelming for the students because they don't know sometimes how to get started. But that's why you need a librarian to help you. And you may be wondering, what kind of information can I find here? Well, you're going to find articles from newspapers, magazines, videos, uh, scholarly journal articles. So let's go ahead and go to the research guides tab. We have a special one that we created for this class. We're going to go under your assignment here. And on the right hand side, there are other research guides that you may use if you're studying any of these topics here. They're going to have similar tabs to, uh, you know, similar to this ones right here on the top. And this is where you're going to start thinking about what it is that you're looking for. You need to find five to six sources. You need to find um, a scholarly journal article, and I will show you uh, how you can get to that. You have to find a website. Other than that, you can find articles from encyclopedias, newspapers, uh, you can find books, and you just need to make sure that you cite everything according to the MLA citation style. Let's go to understand your topic. This is where you're going to start to get familiar with your topic. And just so you know, if you don't find what you want in one database, make sure that you go to the next one. And that's why research does take time. So this first one is called Gale eBooks. This is a multidisciplinary database and you're going to pretty much find the encyclopedia articles. So if I'm studying global warming, global warming, And then we're going to see a lot of articles uh, with the same title, but that's okay because they come from different encyclopedias. You click on the title. And if you like the article, I highly recommend that you get the citation and you email the article to yourself. So if you scroll all the way down, you copy and paste the citation to your excited page. But an even better way would be to go ahead and click on email, put your email down, click send, you're going to get the article and the citation with it. All right, let's go to issues and controversies. I really like this database because it's going to raise a question. It's going to show you the supporters and the opponents of the ideas. I click on all issues A through Z. And I know that you are researching racism. So let's click on this anti-racism right here. That list is in alphabetical order. So these are the kind of questions that it's going to raise. Should Congress pass a new voting rights act or do affirmative action programs benefit American society, supporters and opponents? You click on it and you have the cite button here. Here's the citation. Just know that in this case, you would have to indent five spaces. Uh, you can click on share and then email the article to yourself if you think that this is a good option. All right, let's go to Canopy videos. A lot of students don't know that we have this option and it's very nice for those of you, you know, that wanted to watch something and I think it's going to get you even more excited about your topic and that way maybe you can take some notes of some of the keywords that the videos will show you, and then you can just plug those keywords into the library databases. 
So if I'm researching Boolean, for example, I can click on see more. Of course, you can hit play. Then you click share and then MLA. So that way you can copy and paste the citation, which is very nice. All right, let's go to find books. Library catalog. So if I'm researching gun control, So these are the resources that the catalog is listing for us. If I want to limit that to books only, under resource type, I select books. And this is giving me a location of where the book is at the library. And if I just want to find books that are available online, that's where I click. And I can go ahead and click on these links here to have access to the book. The citation option is here, which I think is very nice. So here we have it. I know that I'm kind of going fast, but I just want to cover quite a few things for you. So let's go to the find articles tab. And this is where we can go more in depth into our, our research. We're going to get started by going to academic search complete. This is a multidisciplinary database, but this is where you're going to be able to find very good scholarly journal articles. And this database indexes quite a few articles, so it's a very popular one among the students. So I always tell students to start the searches broad and then narrow it down as needed. So I'm just typing social media and let's see, the database found a hundred and close to 150,000 articles, way too many for us to browse. Uh, we just need to make sure that we combine some keywords here. So we find the articles that are relevant to our research because otherwise it's going to take forever to find what we're looking for. Under limit two, we're going to select full text. When we do that, we're telling the database to give us only the articles available for us right here, right now. Um, then maybe I'm interested in finding out the relationship between social media and depression. So we went from close to 150,000 articles to about 1500 articles. And here it's telling you what kind of article this is. This is an academic journal article. This is what you need. If you make, if you want to make sure that you only get those, you click on the peer reviewed slash scholarly journal. Uh, and that's what you will get. These articles tend to be harder. They are longer. They are written by experts in the subject. Many times these are studies that were done and they're just letting you know the results of the study. Um, you can click on the title. You can see who put it together, where it was published, all important information for your citation. You can take a look at the keywords associated with it to see if you would like to take a look at the abstract, which is the summary of the article. Sometimes the article will appear right here underneath. Other times there's only the PDF version available. In this case, you have both options. And if you like this, you go ahead and click on email. You click on citation format, select MLA, put your email down, click send. That way you're going to get the article and the citation with it. Okay. I can go ahead and click, uh, keep adding end forever, but there will be a time that I'm going to find zero articles. I'm going to type team and put an asterisk right here. When I do that, I'm telling the database that I'm okay with teen, teenager, teenagers, okay? So this is the root of the word and I'm okay with anything that follows. Let's click search one more time. So this time we found 134 articles. Good. Go ahead and email the ones that you think will be relevant to your research. Now, let me go ahead and copy the strategy that we've used right here. And I want to show you a different database called U.S. Major Dailies. And this is going to give you access to the major U.S. newspapers, LA Times, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. I'm pretty much just pasting that here. I'm going to click on full text, click on the magnifying glass. 
And if I only want to see newspapers only, I'm going to click on it. So here we have it. So if there are, if you like any of these articles, click on the title, click on all options. That way you click on email, include bibliographic citation, put your email down, click continue to get the article and the citation with it. Of course, feel free to explore the other databases because if you understand the concept of how to do your research, you're gonna be able to navigate the other databases. But again, chat with us if you have any question about it. Now let's go to the find websites. That's the trickiest part of it, I would say. Because when you go and do Google searches, I'm sure that you already know by now that a lot of information that we find there is not reliable. But unfortunately, you're going to find a lot of websites that they're going to look reliable, but you have to do more investigation to find out if they really are reliable. So I highly recommend that you take a look at these videos right here. I've watched them. They are very interesting. If you want to know, for example, anything related to politics, um, if there's anything that was said by... Uh, a politician and if you want to know if it's true or not you can go ahead and go to snoops.com or factcheck.org you know this were like these are well established websites uh, that are reliable for you to use but other than that you can scroll down and here and that's where you need to pay attention to who the author of the website is what's the organization's name you know has the organization been around for a long time do they have a good reputation and there's a trick that they show you right here that if you put the name of the organization um, on the google search and add the word wikipedia to it many times you can see you know um, who the founders were you can find more information about it but again this part of your research project is where you have to spend the most time, I would say, with. And you need to know, like, um, if the information uh, is current, right? Uh, who maintains it? When was it last updated? If the current, if the content is, um, you know, uh, reliable, what's the purpose of the website? Are they putting together a website to persuade you to do something? Sometimes they may be doing that and you don't even know uh who designs the website so you have to ask all these questions and of course you can pay attention to the domain maybe a dot gov uh website which is a government website will be more reliable but you need to make sure that you pay attention to all these things okay so i just want to stop right here i feel like we have enough Again, if you need help, don't hesitate to come to see us in person at the library. There's always a librarian available at the reference desk. And of course, there's also a librarian available to chat with us. Okay, please contact us if you need us and good luck with everything.